This quick striking hero is the new ship. And we had a chance to fight with her unique swords while trying out the all new arcade mode coming as part of For Honor Marching Fire. The Nusha is a deadly assassin who's rocking dual hook swords. Most assassins are comfortable up close and personal, or constantly moving in and out of attack range. The Nusha's zone attack sees her hooking her swords together and swinging them around to inflict damage from a long range. It also just might be the dopest zone attack of any hero. When she closes the gap on her opponents, she uses the small blades on the opposite ends of her swords to unleash fast light attacks and has some very useful dodge and attack moves. But what really makes her special is the ability to trap an opponent's weapon in her hooks. The Nusha can use her hooks to grab an opponent's weapon and pull it away, leaving them open to attack. We also got a chance to take the Jang Jun into battle, another one of the new Wu Lin heroes. While the Nusha is quick and agile, the Jang Jun is a bit more methodical. But don't let this big boy's size fool you, he's still a hybrid hero. He's very good at swinging his giant Guan Dao around. So much so, in fact, that all of his attacks are actually zone attacks. This added area of effect comes at a pretty steep stamina cost, so try not to waste your attacks. If you find yourself gassed, you can always fall back onto your Sifu pose. Working a bit like the Nabushi stance, the Sifu pose allows him to dodge an incoming attack and regenerate his stamina. But that's not the only trick he has up his sleeve. Following a successful parry, Zheng Jun can initiate Dao Shi's Choke a move that drains your opponent's stamina, and probably a little bit of their pride too. So what exactly is Arcade Mode? Arcade Mode is a way to challenge yourself and unlock exclusive gear by playing alone or with a friend. You'll battle it out in randomly generated combat quests which are split into chapters. Each chapter pits you against one or more AI enemy heroes. Sometimes all at once, sometimes one after the other. But always with game-changing combat modifiers. Every chapter in every quest in arcade mode includes modifiers that are randomly assigned to you and your AI opponent. Modifiers are buffs and debuffs, and with more than 30 different options, the possible combinations mean no two fights will play out exactly the same. Positive modifiers can include things like increased damage, health regeneration, or immunity from throws. Negative modifiers can mean you'll be left without the ability to parry, have greater stamina costs, or literally be on fire. Each tier of difficulty corresponds to a recommended gear score. So if you're just starting out with one of the new Wu Lin heroes, you're probably better off in a common quest. <laughs> gear score doesn't lock you out of any quests. If you want to test your luck with a fresh hero in a legendary quest, you do you. Just be warned, you might die to a single blow. Arcade mode lets you unlock exclusive gear and level up your hero reputation score. And because all progress transfers over to multiplayer, it's a great place to test out and rank up new heroes. You can pre-order Marching Fire today, or pick it up when it goes on sale October 16th. For more on For Honor, subscribe to this channel, and make sure to check us out at news.ubisoft.com. Like and share if you enjoy the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.